Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. And today, um, or rather the day after, is actually the new inclusion of the brand new stages with Minum and Plusso, like we said in the last episode. So we are now up to 400 stages max. And of course, they have included a brand new event, which surprisingly, at first when I saw this banner, it says here that, you know, can work with other team members I didn't expect it to be a raid event so apparently Snorlax you have to tackle with other players who are playing Pokemon Cafe Mix so yes now friends are pretty important um, in the past you know you have friends in your friend list and they don't really do anything so now they have included a brand new event that requires your friends so if you guys want to add me up um, on Pokemon Cafe Mix. I will show you guys my ID in just a moment, but what is this? To celebrate the introduction of a new team function, we are holding a team member recruitment event. If you increase the number of your team members, you can get a total of 10,000 gold acorns. Oh wow! So yes, add me up as friends. We'd like to get that 10,000 golden acorns and let's tackle um, Snorlax. But the team function is now available. Yeah. Okay, so let me go pull up my... Oh, there it is, the notification for the team function. We'll take a look at that in just a moment, but for now, I'm going to pull up my profile. And if you want to add me up as a friend, here it is. Um, you can let me know your friend ID as well in the comments of this video. And of course, I'll add you up on my Nintendo Switch account as well not just this mobile version because you know the mobile version of my game is technically for making videos so <laughs> if you want to get serious uh, I'll add you up on my switch account so just let me know your friend ID in the comment section of the video down below so let's claim our rewards shouldn't be that high oh, wow I actually got 14 I expected to be lower than 20 <laughs> okay so, I mean higher than 20, not lower, technically 14 is lower than 20. So, let's take a look at the team function first. Choose a team you want to join from the list or create a new team by selecting create. If you join a team, information such as your profile name, profile Pokemon and highest order which will be vis visible to other players. Okay, lazy team. <laughs> Uh, believers. Wow, they have twenty nine people. Okay, so maybe I should go with them. Ooh. Okay. I join believers. Hopefully, you know, we can do well together to get Snorlax. So I have no idea how Snorlax is going to be um summoned. <laughs> Does he line up in the queue as well? Okay, lots of members. Have more team members. Okay, so basically you just have to join a well-filled team. <laughs> and I guess most of the cards um, rewards are cleared. Huh. Simple as that. So I guess all the 10,000 acorns are just gotten through the special card. Seems like it. Yeah. So let's help each other out. You know, get those acorns. There's a lot of acorns to claim though. I wish they would add in like a claim all button. If you agree with me, hit the like button on this video. Because <laughs> claiming all these acorns is a pain in the ass. Uh, you know, it would be nice if you can do it quickly. I mean, it's nice to see what you're getting, but still. You could have done it in a summary. Oh my goodness, how many pages are there? Considering that I'm the last member of the team. So, I guess we managed to fill up every single card. Oh wow, that's still going. 
<laughs> Holy crap. Last one. All right. Now that that's out of the way, let's start with the introduction levels. Okay. So now that we don't have an event Pokemon that's lining up for the cafe, um, I guess technically I don't have to rush to make videos. You know, except for the fact that, you know, I don't know how often Snorlax might appear. Oh god, it's one of these levels, so we have to use an icon to dig out. Let's dig this out. Alright, and try to get it transferred over to the other side. Oh, it combined. Okay. Um, we have to figure out which one has the other item. There we go, we got it. So we just have to drag this one over. No. Alright, time to push it in. Okay. Alright, so let's pop this, guys. Yeah, falls in. There we go. So all we have to do now is just claim score. Okay, lots of charge Let's get the skill going. Power up. Oh, no need to power up the icon. Because we completed the score requirement. Fantastic. Alright, Munchlet gets to level 2. So I don't think the invitation party will um, affect the appearance of Snorlax, I suppose, considering it's not regular stage. The vegetables, so let's make sure we get the vegetables done. At the same time while clearing the caramel. Make sure you get as many icons in as possible. There we go. So the caramels are settled. Just be careful of the vegetables. Let's combine Snorlax. I mean, much of <laughs> It's the tiny version. <laughs> hasn't grown up yet. Alright. Okay, the vegetables are done. So all we have to do is activate Mega Bones. Let's use the skill to get rid of some and summon a few on our own. Simple as that. So the game has really become very active right now, thanks to the raid event, technically. That is if the game can still draw in new players. Why are we in first place? Holy crap. <laughs> Okay, so so they did not give us instructions on how often, um, I guess Snorlax appears. Is there information? Let's check it out in the news. Um, team function notice. Let's say you can form a team in other places. Of today, you can form a team. Blah blah blah. You can enter the team event that is scheduled to be held on the 24th. Yeah, it's the 24th already. 
when this team event enormous slots will appear in front of the cafe, you can work with other players to satisfy. Oh, so the Snorlax does queue up. Okay. So we gotta keep playing until Snorlax appears. Hopefully we can see it with the amount of stages that we're gonna do for this episode. Technically, <laughs> we are still kind of lacking because now that I think 400 levels, was it? Is the max amount of stages. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so let's clear up all the meow first. Let's go into the blossoms. Make sure to, you know, get the chocolates destroyed. Okay, so now that the other side is a bit stuck. Make sure we do this. Okay. Then this side, we gotta rotate around. Make sure you cover up all... Ooh, nice! Okay, so we do need to get um, the skill going on this side because go. Now all we have to do is power this up. Simple as that. stage as long as you stay focused on the task you should be fine no special tricks needed okay we're in third place now it's fine squirtle let's go Fifty thousand score seven whipped creams okay so all the whipped creams are out but they're all on the other end so technically, the technique here is just to get Squirtle's skill powered up and destroy the Whip Creams as fast as possible. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's clear the Popcorns first. That's, that's gonna be a problem. Then of course we have to get the vegetables that we need. Alright, there we go, we've got our first skill. some of the popcorn. There we go one more time. There we go. Now let's power up this skill. Alright, let's go a bunch at the top. Now all we have to do is clear the score, the last whipped cream and of course the vegetables. So can we get the yeah then we can we can get the whipped cream. So technically the whipped cream is done. So let's go for score and vegetables. The center place is the best place. Oh we're done with the vegetables. So let's get the score then. Which is enough. There we go. Not too difficult a level. Just pay attention to your Pokemon skill direction. Taking a while to load. Oh, we got second place now. Any big fellow? Nope. GD Puff, let's go. Ooh, lots of honey. Seems like a pretty easy stage, although we do need 100,000 score. Wait, are, those, are they coated in regular bubbles? I hope they're not those um, chewing gum versions. Because those need skills to destroy. I mean, if you guys have played far enough into the game, you'll know which um, obstruction I'm talking about. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's see. Let's 
destroy more icons here. Yep, that's what I wanted. Alright, let's begin. Okay. Lots of jiggy puff. Let's see if use of this chance to power up the skill as well. Got lots of Lucario though. So it might be Lucario's turn to take the stick. Oh, it's Executo! Okay, that's fine. Let's clear the honey. Okay. This looks a bit difficult. Um, technically, because of the marshmallows, we have a problem. Set the caramel free first. Alright, with this we have to clip everything at one go. Oh, I missed out on a few. That's fine. I guess let's retry. Alright, so it's not a difficult level. You just gotta lay out your icons. Let. Um, yeah. So. Oh, <laughs> the honey activated the skill. It's fine. It just helps us out with um, you know, one less move to activate the skill. Okay. Um, let's go with Jigglypuff. We want to get as much of the skills as possible. Okay, lots of Lucario. Let's go with Lucario. Okay, let's Qtor. of Munchlex now. Okay, we have a floating problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Alright, so technically the marshmallow is a problem. So let's make sure we clear the marshmallow here. Okay, followed by Uh oh. We missed out on one. Oh come on. Okay, I can't be bothered. I'm <laughs> just going to use this. So yeah. Let's just get a whole bunch. Make sure we just cover up the caramel. Yeah. But it's a bit tricky. Because the amount of moves they give us is a bit limited, but it's not a very impossible level to handle. Just gotta make sure you cover all areas and make sure you use Jigglypuff skill to get as many of um, the same icons as possible. So you can just cover as much surface area on the stage level as possible. Okay, Michino has the friendship bonus. Do we still not see the gigantic Snorlax? <laughs> okay, I really wonder how big the Snorlax is going to be. That's pretty exciting. Alright, let's go with Bulbasaur. Ooh, lots of Wobbuffet icons. Oh, Wobbuffet is needed. Okay, so Bulbasaur's skill does change icons to the ones that's mostly available. So. Let's make use of that, I guess. Alright, let's get a more bubble sauce. Okay. Um, there are a lot of Charmanders right now, so I guess it means the icons are going to Charmander. So that's a problem. We need, we need Baba Fats. Okay. So the 
a lot of whipped creams here. Let's get rid of them. Alright, more Waba Fats. There we go. Um, what about Togepi's though? So let's go with Togepi's. Okay. Seems like there are quite a bit of Waba Fats now, so let's make use of that. Uh, advantage. Oh, there are more Charmanders. Oh my goodness. The problem here now is that we are not really destroying a lot of whipped creams, so that is an issue. Maybe let's just use the Mega Fuse to help us out. Hmm. Let's try to get as many Waba Fat as Yeah, there we go. So all we have to do is just get all the Waba Fats that we can. Where did we go? Nice! Oh yeah, if you guys are brand new to my channel, watching because it's Pokemon Cafe Mix, I know I'm one of the very rare, rare YouTubers out there who is actually doing this as content. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to team up, for future raid events like Snorlax, you know, just send me your ID in the comments down below for this video. Seventy thousand score. Okay, so stop learn skill does destroy things downwards. Um, we could power his skill up um, to cover more surface area, but right now we have to handle the whip creams. So cover the whip creams as much as possible. There we go. Okay. Go. So if the whip cream does go into the chestnut areas, don't worry because technically you can destroy them with Stoutland skill as well. So why we are destroying things from right to left because well we can see that the chestnuts are rolling in. So we don't really have to worry too much. Use the megaphone, and of course, we can use Stoutland skill. So the chestnuts are all done now. All we have to do is just gather a lot of score and cast the last megaphone, and we're good. That's it. Could have ended a bit earlier, but you know, just for convenience sake. Sign of the big guy? Nope. How often does he appear though? Okay, we don't have Lucario, so that's you know big of a worrying pinch. Hopefully we don't really have to use him. 45,000 lots of sugar cubes. Okay, the honey will spread to the bubble saw. So we just have to technically clear off the cheese and slowly destroy our way into the sugar cube area so let's let's just get rid of the icons here first because um I, i'm just a bit worried that they might infect the um well the honey will infect the icons later on okay so let me off let's try 
go. So yeah, as you can see, this is starting to become a problem. Alright, here we go. So, we just need to get um, a gap on the right side because Minchino's skill doesn't destroy things towards the left. So let's just make advantage of that. Okay, we have the skills. We just need that hole. Oh no. Oh no, we're only covering one honey. Ah. <laughs> okay, so we have the strategy. Let's try to apply it this time round. Let's go, let's go. Let's touch both honeys. I mean, cheese. Oh, missed out on one. Okay. A lot of meows. Alright, let's get the meows going. And the chinos. go so now we just need to do this cover all the honeys at the bottom all right let them slowly spread there because that's not a worry um let's do this okay easy easy let's get rid of uh oh can we get rid of anything? Okay, now we only have the honey. Alright, sugar cube, sorry. <laughs> to to worry about. There we go. That's it. So as long as you follow the strategy, depending on which Pokemon you use, because Rukari does destroy things in a cross manner. So it's not as difficult with Michino, I suppose, but Michino is pretty straightforward. Alright, I don't see the big guy. When does he appear though? Alright, okay, I do not like tomato stages. Um but seems fine. Just have to keep going round in circles, pushing the tomatoes into the basket, I suppose. And we have four here, so let's get the four in. All of them are in. Maybe we can just push these guys up. There is a basket up there. Oh god, pushing it up is a lot harder. So maybe let's just push them down. Okay. Then while we're doing that, let's get the Mayonis handle. Oh no, there are pumpkins. That's not good. Okay. Alright, now that we have the pumpkins out, let's just start to kill them. Still at the top. Oh, thank goodness I didn't. Okay, so let's try to get the one out of the Mayonnaise bubble. There we go. Let's get rid of the popcorn first. And now the final touch. Bon appetit. for salad. Alright, let's zoom out, see if we have the big guy around. 
Still no Snorlax? How often does he appear? Hmm. Do we need to have our notifications on whenever somebody calls in a Snorlax? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a tough thing to do and record <laughs> if it does happen like that. Because I'm not always home whenever there might be a raid. Oh god. Okay. Squirtle. Alright. We just have to start clearing um, the right side of the ice cubes because, you know, we've got Minchino and we know Minchino's problem is, you know, we only destroy things in one direction. Zoom out again. No big guy yet. But hey, at least we get Lucario. And of course, our new friends. Snubble, you're up. Oh boy. So a bit of rotating required. So let's... Get Snubbles icons going, let's lay them out you know, nice and flat. Um, if you can, destroy the others as quickly as possible. Because they are kind of a hindrance. And of course we can make use of the space that we've acquired to you know, give more icons. So that's always a good thing. Alright, Snubble. Let's get rid of all the honey here first before we move along. We stop a bit of the honey, but that's fine. Okay, let's push these guys over. some canisters okay so technically this is good one on each side uh oh okay I got them mixed yeah there we go done <laughs> that ended a lot faster than I expected I thought I'd be struggling a lot more good thing I wasn't Got our 10 stages cleared. Alright, give me those rewards. I wonder, maybe it's time that we'll be losing all these items, you know, if Snorlax appears. Let's keep going. Maybe we'll do 20, episode, uh, 20 stages this episode. Oh no, there we go, the bubble gum. Ah, uh, okay, so a lot of blossoms. 
just spread them out. You definitely want to pop these as quickly as possible. So you can get to destroying them as soon as possible. Okay, while waiting for you know the marshmallows to light up. There we go. as many of them as possible. Go in, destroy the marshmallows. Let's go in here. And we are short of that one marshmallow at the top. That's fine. Oh, come on. Okay, so we can use the megaphone to get rid of more chocolate. Then once we've gotten more space, let's just gather all the icons and destroy the remaining marshmallows. So from here, let's just use the skill to destroy more chocolate. More space means more space for the icons. Oh, come on! What's with the lousy luck in the megaphones? Gracious me. Okay. Let's see. Spread them out. Strip the chocolate as much as possible. Mm, let's go with more icons usage because we need the score. Plus, it would actually be better if we use the Velocity skill to destroy the last. Yeah, of course you get some more megaphones, just like that. And use the last one to destroy the last piece of chocolate. Simple as that. So as long as you pop all the items out from their bubblegum casings first, things will be fine. Alright, seems like we're getting more decorations for the cafe. And food. Oh, hello. Any big guy? Nope. How rare is Snorlax's appearance? Oh well. Okay, so new item means very easy level. Seventeen fruits. Uh, how do you destroy them, though? Okay, so let's get Slowpuff going because we might need the icons. I mean, the skill. Okay, let's destroy this way. So it seems that it can go destroy um, with regular icons. So I guess we need to destroy them with skills. Go. That's a lot of it. Let's get a lot of it going. Let's power up slow path. I think we just need to power up skill to settle this level. Just like that. Simple. Pudding. We're in second place now. Anyone there? Nope. Uh, executor is somebody, so <laughs> haven't gotten executor to join the family yet, so that's something to look forward to. Oh, we need a combo of 35 links. That's a pro- Oh, we've got pumpkins too. That is a problem. Okay, so let's try to push all the pumpkins together. Um, maybe... Okay, it's a good idea to maybe destroy the center one first so we can get more space for more icons. Eventually. There we go. 
So once we do that, can we cover everything here? Okay. Then once all the icon falls in, we're gonna get more Jigglypuffs. More Jigglypuff means more skills. And of course, we need to cover that score requirement as well. There we go. Let's keep the skill icon combo going. Fantastic. Okay. Let's cover all the cans here. Alright, more jiggly puffs again. Alright, let's push this pumpkin to this side. So we can make use of the skill icon to clear everything if possible. Oh, we missed out on one can. That's fine. Alright, we do need the score. So let's get the Jigglypuff going. And we are done. Could have ended a bit earlier. Look at all that Jigglypuff. <laughs> so just make use of Jigglypuff skill to keep the um, skill charge bar filled up, you know, just by popping more jiggly parts onto the screen. Just make use of this strategy, you should be fine. Oh, Spadi gets the friendship bonus. That's nice. It's gonna help with the Grand Prix ranking. Oh! Do I see one buffet? Hello. Still no Snorlax though. Strange. Okay, we've got Jiggy Puff already. So let's do this. The three stars will be very important. Okay, let's see. Um we do need to destroy the cheese to get the tomatoes. Oh boy. So the middle portion icons are in a bit of a jam because the the icons won't fall into the area, so we have to do things systematically. You gotta make sure you touch all the corners of the machines. There we go. So we're gonna destroy this. Um, get more icons down. Make sure you hit the marshmallows as well. Go. Okay, we're gonna help destroy this so that the tomato will drop in. Fantastic. Okay, let's get a toga piece. Sadly to say the marshmallow is not lit up. Go. Alright, we've got the Jimmy Hop combo going. So let's do this. Right, fantastic. So let's push the tomatoes in. Oh boy. Go in. Go in. Come on. Oh come on! Does this level have only so few um moves? Oh that's really difficult. Oh we have to keep trying. If we want the friendship. Oh god. So this level is one of those stages that you have to be very careful with your moves because you're very limited to them so pushing the tomatoes into the basket comes top priority first I suppose um, so let's, let's do that let's do this make sure you clear off the can as well alright there it is Okay, we had to waste 900 acorns because we want that 3 star bonus, or rather, yeah, the times 3 bonus. Generally, generally, if you're struggling with this level, because it is technically kind of a tough level, using that 900 acorns is definitely worthwhile. Alright, let's see who's at the door. Still no Snorlax. I'm really wondering how big the Snorlax can be. Okay. The 
Let's go with the tiny friend. Ooh. Okay, there are chestnuts that are covered in bubble gums. So that's a problem. So let's get some the munch legs going. Let's make sure we cover up as many of the um you know vegetable cakes as possible. Because we have to set through the chestnuts as quickly as we can. Let's keep the munch legs combo going. There we go. Let's set the bubble gum chestnuts. <laughs> We get lucky with the, I guess, the skills appearance. That would greatly help as well. Okay, so the chestnuts are done. Now we just need to handle the vegetables. And the score! as possible. So vegetables are done. Uh, a lot more mouth though. So I just wanted Snorlax or a Munchlax for the skill. So let's do this. Let's combine the skill and get as many megaphones out to help us clear the score. There we go. Simple as that. Not a difficult level. Just make sure you clear your priorities first, like the coated chestnuts. Alright, any sign of the big fella? I guess Snorlax is going to be a very hard Pokemon to attain for the character. So, we just have to power up Charmander's skill to destroy all the bubblegum stuff. So meanwhile, let's just focus on the popcorn and... Oh, there are some of the canister items here. And the sugar chips, so yeah. I mean, technically we could destroy the popcorns with the, uh, the skills ability as well, because it is in the direction of stuff we need to destroy. Okay. Let's just of that. Three, three rows is all we can cover. So let's just do that. Then of course we can get another skill. Destroy the sugar cubes. All right. So with this, we can start pushing all the milk cartons in. All right. Let's get some of them. Maybe let's get these guys out. Oh no, we ran out of moves. Oh, it's one of those stages that's annoyingly difficult. <laughs> oh well, okay, so... How do we do this? I mean, the strategy was... Okay... Alright, 
Alright, so we just have to clear the bubble gum and the sugar cubes. Now we just gotta be careful with pushing these guys in. There we go. If we can clear the icons in the way, technically that will help us greatly. Okay. There you go. And just gather as many icons as possible. With the destruction of a bunch, we are done! <laughs> Alright, we did it! With exactly the amount of moves provided, so this stage is technically very tricky. Just pay very close attention to what you need to do, and you should be okay. But of course, if it comes down to the worst, then use the 900 acorns. Get this 3 extra moves and clear the level. Still no sign of the big guy. Wow, is the summon rate for Snorlax is really that rare? Oh dear, I see pumpkins. There's coated chocolates as well, that's not a good thing. Okay, so let's get Pikachu's icons going. We need to clear the honey. Okay, while doing this, let's set free the chocolates. Go make sure we cover all three of them. Okay, and let's keep the Pikachu skill going. I'm destroying the honey. Can we do the same here? Yeah, we go. I think the Pikachu skill has more range um, when it's further back. Go. Can we clear the pumpkins? Oh god. No. They have to separate. <laughs> oh well. Let's get rid of all the Squirtle icons first. This is just too many of them. Pumpkins again. Why are we giving you so much problems? Can we have a megaphone that's like facing one direction so we can use it to destroy the pumpkins? So annoying. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Pikachu's icon. Oh no, we only covered one. This is horrible. Oh, there he is. Okay, we can use this to clear the pumpkins. Oh god, oh god. no! Oh, what's with the horrible luck in placement? Okay, can we get the skill to destroy all three? Nope, as usual, my luck is horrible. I mean, I did it the first few times. I don't understand why it doesn't work now. Yeah, we're not gonna do this. We're gonna have to retry. This is just horrible. Okay. Again, let's just get rid of all the honey. Maybe we should have used the honey to hold the pumpkins in place. <laughs> that would have been a good strategy. <laughs> Hopefully, the honey doesn't duplicate at the top because that would be a problem. Yeah, we should probably get rid of the honey here first. Alright, the pumpkins are settled. Okay, with this, let's get the chocolate free. for a few skill load. Okay, all the 
Sunny are settled. Now we just have to get rid of. There we go. I think it's because of the olive oil surface. That's why we can cover all three of them at one go. I don't know if we can do the same thing. Probably not. Okay. So we do need score. That's a problem. Oh no. We're not gonna do it. I don't need the help of the megaphone. I don't think I can push it there. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna use the, the 900 acorns because this is starting to turn to a big drag and eventually I might end up clearing the stage with it anyways so that is a problem Okay, we have the skill and we have a megaphone so that is exactly the amount of moves that we have to clear the stage as well so just gotta be careful with the placements don't wanna end up you know, wasting away the renewal chance So yeah Take note of this level, it's very tricky. Wow, and we still don't see Snorlax around. That's, that's not good. I guess technically to summon Snorlax, you're helping your Grand Prix positions as well. Because you have to play so much. Okay, so um, let's go with the main Pokemon and let's cover as much surface as possible. Alright, make sure we clear the cans. Alright, much less. There we go, so all the whipped creams are out. Now we just have to clear them all while getting vegetables and of course clearing them cans of fruit there we go alright let's keep this going so most of the whipped creams are done it's got a Cover a bit more. Alright, the fruits are done with just one skill. Okay. Okay, so both whipped creams are tiny enough to be destroyed by icons, so let's just do that with one single move instead of using two to use skills to destroy them. That's it. Also, they're getting Weasel to join the cafe. Alright, who's next? Watch next. Can you call your big brother? I'd like to see him <laughs> in action. <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's get a Starly up. There is popcorns available as well. So let's save up Starly's skill for now and let's uh, just cover as much of the popcorn kernels as possible and at the same time let's prevent the invasion of caramels Charmander Alright, there we go So with this, let's power up Starly's skill We do have to cover the bubblegum caramels cause want to set them free so for destruction and let's get there and there and cover as much of the area with caramels because we need space for more icons okay once that is done let's do this Okay, that's fine. Let's get the two 
then. Yeah. done better. Oh, I'm just really unlucky that certain things happen. Alright. Still no Snorlax. What in the world is going on? Okay. Let's check this out again. Still have no idea how this team function works. I mean, if the members on the team do encounter Snorlax, do they have to invite you to fight it? Or rather tackle and serve his hunger? You know, because you don't really battle Pokemon in this game. Hmm, we might end up not seeing Snorlax at all in this episode. That's kind of a bummer. Alright, so we do need to clear the ice cubes. Um, so let's do this. Oh no, there are sugar cubes as well. Okay, so clearing the olives while the sugar cubes I mean frozen. Oh god. So once you unfreeze them, that's a problem. Okay. Let's get Charmander going. Alright, so let's do the same as we have all these olives as much as we can. Fingers when they are frozen, they don't. They are affected by the olive voice. One tomato in. Okay. Let's get Squirtle going again because we need his skill. With this, the other tomato is going in. Let's drop the tomato. Then with this. We will have the last tomato in, so oh, we only need score now. That's definitely not gonna be enough. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, maybe we should try powering up Squirtle's skill to destroy everything in one go. So yeah, let's let's give that a whirl. Okay, first let's defrost some of these. Let's get going. Alright, so now that we have the skills, let's just get rid of everything in one go. Alright, same thing. So let's just gather as much squirtle as possible. Now for the Charmander. Okay. We have to get rid of the oil here. Okay, now that we have this, Right, the first tomato is in. Technically, we still need more squirtles. Alright, another tomato should be in once we destroy or move away. There we go. Okay, so let's move this away. And we're done. 
Alright, so the trick is to power up your Squirtle's move and destroy everything, or rather as much as you can in one suit. Simple as that. Oh, Squirtle with the friendship bonus. level. Wow, that means we're getting six stars on Squirtle. If we actually clear it, that is. Okay. Any sign of the big guy? No? Really? After 20 levels? Holy crap. Okay, you're up. Let's do our best. Oh boy. Okay, Meowness is a problem. Um, let's get Meow skill going up as fast as we can. Blossoms. Alright, so I guess we have to try to break through as fast as we can, technically. We need as much icons as possible. There we go. Alright, so let's move over to the other side and absorb as much of the icons as possible. Alright, alright. There we go. Three tanks destroyed with a uh, chestnut set free. Uh, we do need to destroy. Yes, this thing. Okay. Can we push these together? Oh no. Such a waste. Okay, so we have to go after the sugar cubes. We can, will be a problem, but still. Um, sugar cube. Alright, so we have one last move to destroy the can and we are done. Whew. <laughs> so yes, the trick is to move the icons to the right side because there is a gap, you know, um, to get the icons flowing in. So you have to try to break the sugar cube wall as fast as you can while, you know, Uncoating the mayonnaise as well, so take note of that. Then of course make sure that. Wow, look at all the stars! Holy crap! So, yeah, you gotta make sure that the icons that are set free from the mayonnaise are all clustered together as well, because that is going to help you um, end the level with the least amount of moves required. And still no sign of Snorlax. Holy crap! Am I going to have to do like two videos in a single day just to see Snorlax? Anyways, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, our journey to find Snorlax is just the beginning. And we move along 20 more levels into the game. So technically we are, let's see. I think we are just 100 levels from the final level. Yeah, we are. So hopefully that, that doesn't take us 100 levels to meet Snorlax for the first time. Because that would be ridiculous. And we don't know how um, many times we have to meet Snorlax in order for Snorlax to join the cafe as well. So that will be very interesting to find out. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself. Do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the event so far. Have you guys beaten Snorlax already? Uh, how is he like? Let me know in the comments down below as well. And of course, if you'd like to join me in my journey in Pokemon Cafe Mix, let me know your ID in the comments as well. And maybe whoever watches my content can also add you guys as friends and we can all team together to do this game uh, events in the future as well, including Snorlax right now, um, all together and have fun with Pokemon Cafe Mix. So I'll see you guys in the next episode very soon. Bye!